My next guest is one of the best things to come out of Texas in years. She won Tony nominations for her roles in Canterbury Tales and The Boyfriend. Uh, she's currently starring in the film Star Spangled Girl. She's, so, go, she's going to resume her TV series Funny Face, which strangely was uh, held up because of her uh, an eye problem that she developed. It's, it's too bad. Will you welcome, please, a very nice lady, Sandy Duncan. <laughs> How are you? Your fans want to know, and a lot of them know already, but I'm just, I'm just asking. Everything okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's so funny? Do I, no. do I amuse you, my child? <laughs> yes, you're funny. <laughs> really? I, what is it about me? I don't know. No, I'm fine, actually. Okay. <laughs> they, they got it. It was a tumor. Yeah, which behind your eye. Yeah, I'm a medical oddity, in fact. Yeah. Um, I'm an oddity in a lot, no, but a uh, medical oddity because it was located in the wrong place yeah. and I couldn't find it. And then they found it and they thought it was really a bad thing and it wasn't, it was benign and, they, and that's that. And, 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 but it, it sort of loused up your career. It looked like it was going to at that point, didn't it? I yeah. Mean, yeah. yeah because it stopped uh, we didn't have enough uh, shows you know in the can to continue the uh, the show and everything and I lost my vision they think permanently in the left eye but it doesn't really matter I've been nearsighted my whole life so it really it doesn't is... seem that different no yeah not at all what are you supposed to do for it anything in particular Just no yeah. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just grin around, I guess. <laughs> I guess so. Mm. Did, it, did you go through one of those periods of why me? Why did this have to happen of all times in my life? Did you feel sorry for yourself? No, uh, because there were enough people around me doing it, you know, and when they Feeling sorry for you? Yeah, and go, yeah. oh, you poor child, and it's not fair and all that. So when people are around you doing that, you keep kind of a, a thing, you know, mm -hmm. an up, you know. Thing. Did you find out who your real friends were in any way when you went through this? Yes. Or, you did? Yeah. Well, oh, you good. know, you no, know, more than that, it kind of puts everything in perspective because um, uh, uh, prior to the, to the surgery and everything, I sort of thought I was in a frivolous kind of business. I, yeah. You might think that at times, like, what is this? But, uh, yeah. <laughs> you right. know? My, my very words. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, but no, uh, Having had this happen of being in the hospital and everything, and everything is very real there. I mean, more than medical center. I mean, it is real. Yeah. You know, if you saw really what happened, I've never been in a hospital before. I had my tonsils out, and that was all. But it, it, I, uh, suddenly I felt very important. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know, you know, like, I, well, I would get lots of cards and letters and things, and suddenly I felt like uh, what I was doing was really that, you know, the words that I'm so sick of hearing, meaningful and relevant. Right. Well, I felt meaningful and relevant because people really cared what was happening to me and, and they, it, it was like I made their days happier because they sit in those hospital rooms and watch television. And I mean, you're a big deal in the hospital. I mean, it's, that's important. Yeah. It's funny to think so, isn't it? I mean, it is, great. but it's really true. Like, you yeah. know, Mr. Nader does a lot of important things and I thought, oh, I'm going to be on the show with him. Now, you know, really, you know, a little <laughs> ginchy thing that does funny face, but suddenly yeah. I felt more self-important than I had before. Yeah. Bye, George. <laughs> <laughs> so it sort of changed your views on life. You feel you're worth something. Yes, you're not I just do. a not just a little bit of fluff. Not and, a little bit you know, of fluff little, at all. A frivolous little flibberty That's right. gibbet. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you're not that at all. No. That's what you're not. That's what you're not. I wanted to make that clear. <laughs> were, were you an overnight success? Uh, oh, yes. Were you? No. No. They always say that. I, they say, this girl did a commercial and she just... No, I uh, began around four, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the ballet bar, mm -hmm. and um, I, I started... That's in... on 44th Street, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> oh, the... Oh, yeah. never mind. <laughs> I've seen you in there a couple times. Go on. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I make her laugh. It's really funny. You do. You're cute. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, yeah. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> but anyway. Anyway, uh, what were we talking about? Uh, the, the, where you hang oh, out? Oh, the ballet bar. Yeah. yeah, I hang out the ballet bar. And uh, so I studied for years, and I wanted to be a ballerina. Then I went to the musicals in Dallas, and then I came to New York, and I did shows and everything. And then one little minute commercial suddenly did more. You're grinning. You're no. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see myself. Where's the monitor? I, I am funny. Look at that. <laughs> right. Gee, I'm gonna start watching this show. Listen, but but you did that. You did this commercial. Was it on national? It wasn't even a national no. commercial, was it? It was, was Groucho just... Marx saw you in that commercial, and he said, you know, that girl is somebody, and something great's gonna happen. How he did you know that? He told me. He talked to you about me. Yeah, I know Groucho Marx. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he really no, did. No, no, these yeah. people don't know unless they're from California. I had this Good. bank. A commercial, and right. I played a kind of a dumb teller, very easy for me, and so uh, it somehow uh, caught on out there and was responsible for a lot of the film things that I've been getting, more so than theater, because uh, you know television reaches so many more people, you know, than theater ever could. I know it's funny to think people come on here to talk about their movie, and more people see their little appearance talking about their movie than will ever see their movie, <laughs> even if it's an enormous success. I mean. The, the figures are, 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 are so discrepant. I Is know. there a word? Discrepant? The figures are so out of whack there, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, well, but we have a message. We'll be right back. Calm yourself. <laughs>